What's up, GQ? It's Dame Lillard, and I'm going undercover on the internet today. It's me, for real. Instagram. Your fit game is always dope, bro. Who are your style heroes? Honestly, I don't really have a style hero. You know, I never go with trends or what season it is or what's in or what's not in. And you can only wear this once or twice. You know, I wear what I like and you know what I feel like I look good in and that's that. I do it for myself. It's not loud, but anybody that pays attention will notice that I'm just have my own way. You're a low key a fashion icon. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. I wouldn't say I'm a fashion icon. I would say that my personal style is just to suit myself. I mean, I wear a little bit of everything. You know, obviously I'm going, I'm always have my own in the rotation, my own kicks. As you can see, the bait print, I wore this shoe actually in an all-star game one year. You know, I shop on Kicks Crew. It's actually the first tech startup that I'm going to be a part of. The initiatives, the things that they care about is in line with the, the things that I care about as a person, the community, lifting other people up. It's perfect for me as a shopper. It's perfect for the people that I shop for. Being a partner with Kicks Crew and you know getting to know the people that I'm, I'm working with and knowing that they're in line with, with who I am as a person, it makes it a you know just a, a great experience. We just here to see real Devin Haney get these straps and we going home. Andre Ward, where you at? How big of a fight fan are you? I'm a super, super fight fan. Like I watch as much boxing as I do basketball almost. Not just fights, I'm watching trainers interviews, fighter interviews, fighters training, who called out who. I know promoters, I know fighters, I know trainers, I know a lot of people involved in the sport deeply. You know, I'm constantly seeking the, the latest, you know, information even before it's released to the public and things like that. So I'm a, a super fight fan. Dame carries a franchise on his back and still has time to run mad foundations. How many hours in a day does this man have? I think what it comes down to for me is I find time for the things that I care about. If it was just fun or just random things coming up, then I probably would rather just stay in the house. But I got a lot of things that I care about that I that I prioritize, um, regardless of how much time I have to fit it in. You know, I gotta get it in. Be invested in the things that you care about. This specific picture is just at my first elite camp, Formula Zero. That's not just a basketball camp, you know, it's more based on the development of a lot of the youth, you know, athletes, all types of things that we do to just try to have an impact. And I find ways to, to just be invested and to give my time. Just going back to my partnership with Kicks Crew and why, you know, a lot of things that they represent is in line with what I represent in the community. Showing up is it's a recent event that we did in my neighborhood. And, you know, a lot of kids showed up from my neighborhood that aren't just kids that are, you know, sneakerheads. There are a lot of them are kids in need, you know, where this is something that uh, really meant a lot to the kids. It meant a lot to the parents. And uh, we went to a place where it was needed, you know, where it could have a real impact. You know, it does so much for those kids and those families. Now on to Cora. Will Damian Lillard play his entire career for the Portland Trailblazers? I hope so, but we <laughs> will see. We will see. What will it take for Damian Lillard to get a championship? I think we got to have a little bit of luck. The team has to, to be connected and come together. We just got to believe it. Let's check Twitter. Damian Lillard, best blazer of all time. First of all, he spelled my name wrong. At this point, I'm, I'm right there in the, probably at the top, you know, as the best blazer of all time. The only, the only thing that stops me from just saying I am right now is the fact that I haven't won a championship. You know, I have a lot of the records. I've won a lot of games. You know, I think the only thing left is to, to win the championship. Because of the way I embrace being a trailblazer and embrace the community, and I do put myself, you know, at the top of that conversation. If you were to pick a player that would help you win a championship, who would you pick? I would pick Giannis. Y'all remember when Dame Lillard had these dreads? <laughs> no comment. Hold your horses. Damian Lillard is vegan. I was vegan for like six months. You know, I was pretty lean. It was going all right. I had a vegan chef and everything. I had some fried chicken and it was, that was the end of it. Anybody know where Damian Lillard's Dame Time nickname comes from? I have been hearing like Dame Time and some people were saying Lillard Time. It was just my first two years in the league because I was hitting big shots. And I feel like it was like my third year I did it and I just tapped my wrist. Like, I don't know what made me do it. I just, I just did it. Y'all think Damian Lillard beat Ryan Garcia when they sparred for that Gatorade commercial? 
It was a lot of feints, a lot of jabs missed, but um, we moved around a little bit. I didn't beat him, but he didn't beat me. What are you planning on investing this into? The number one thing is for me is just to lift people up and provide opportunity for people to be successful. I think when you reach a certain level financially, it's about you know how far you can make that stretch and how many people can you touch, how many lives can you impact. That's what my investment is going to be into. You know, what are the things that I can invest in that can have a, a major impact on my family and not just us right now, but our kids and their kids and you know, generations after that. Let's go check out Reddit. Hey, Dane, who's an under the radar player you would say is the hardest to guard? I think under the radar, hardest to guard, I would say Kevin Porter Jr. He's super quick, crafty with the ball, he can shoot. He got a lot to his game and a lot to him that's, you know, he's shifty. He can catch you off guard, you know. Are there any unorthodox practice methods you have used? I know you took up boxing, did that help? I would say the only unorthodox practice methods I've used is just in my strength training. You know, we train in vulnerable positions. So a lot of the positions where if I'm on one leg or if I'm off balance or something like that, we train for me to be able to, to be strong in those areas. I would say that's the only thing that I could think of that's unorthodox. I don't think boxing is really unorthodox. I don't box to help me be a better basketball player. I box because I think it's important to be able to properly defend myself, you know, in life. Hey Dame, you and Steph have revolutionized the logo shot, leaving defenders in awe and disarray in their inability to stop it with how you're able to hit it so consistently. Bad shot. My question is, what should your shooting percentage of these shots be in practice before taking them in real games? Well, I don't think it's a specific percentage that you should try to have. I think it should just be to the point where it's a comfortable shot. Since high school, I was, you know, shooting deep shots and even in college. But once I got to the, you know, my third, fourth year in college, we started to train, you know, taking those shots intentionally, you know, just kind of breaking it down and making it efficient shot for me to where I could shoot it easy, I could shoot it comfortable. The more I kept doing that, you know, it just got to the point where it was like, I can take this shot and make it consistently. What is your relationship with CJ like? You guys have been a dynamic duo for so long, it's hard to imagine a different backcourt pair. Obviously, me and CJ's relationship is not going to be what it was for the last, you know, 10 years because we live five minutes away from each other, we see each other every day at practice, sat next to each other on the plane, you know, went to dinner, did vacations, all of those things. So obviously those things will change and that'll, that'll change our relationship. But, you know, I don't think the brotherhood changes. You know, we still speak pretty regularly now. I don't view him any differently other than he's not my teammate anymore. And I think, you know, he, he feels the same way, but, you know, we'll see how, how it goes. All right, let's see some YouTube comments. I'm surprised he didn't have one about Weaver State. I mean, he goes back there every off season to teach some of the players. I actually do got a uh, Weaver State tattoo. It's not an actual Weaver State one, but it's, it's like a map on here. And it's like representing like the letter O, but it's like Oakland. See, Oregon is right here. Oakland is right here. Ogden right here. Just like all the points on the map. And it's like a compass. I hope he will get to play with Giannis at some point. Those two would be a very, very nice combo. I mean, I would say just the, the dominance, you know, somebody that's, you know, going to get to the rim. He's a good playmaker, a good defender, disruptive. And his the way he plays complements the way I play. I would bring something to the table that complements what he does and vice versa. Seamless. Who is more clutch at shooting the three? That is all that matters. I feel like I've made more than everybody. These days, people love Steph Curry the way people loved Michael Jordan at one point, you know? So I'm always say me. I'm always believe in myself first, but you know, that's, that's not really for me to answer. What's on TikTok? How is he so calm in clutch moments? I figured out that people like fans and people don't expect of me what I expect of myself. When they feel like something is so crazy, like I'm more offended sometimes. Like, what did y'all, like I expected it, you know? Like, what did y'all think? So I come off as calm, but I'm really like, how many times I gotta do this? I wonder what getting married and marriage means to him. <laughs> wow. It meant a lot to me because it was one point that I didn't believe I needed to be married. You know, I was just like, I'm cool with, you know, things as it is. And then it's just, you know, you hit a you hit a point where it's like, I'm cool with this. You know, I'm cool with this being my life. It's fine with me. You know, this is what I can spend my life doing. My three kids and her is the, the people that I, I can't live without. And I don't even do TikTok. She got me doing TikTok, so. Wikipedia time. 
Lillard wears the jersey number zero, representative for the letter O in his journey in life from Oakland to Ogden and now Oregon. I didn't wear the number zero until I got to the NBA. I was always number one. And it's crazy because when I was in college, I almost switched my number to zero my last year, but I didn't. I just always liked the number one. That was just my number. Lillard is a hip hop artist and a rapper by the name of Dame Dollar, which stands for different on levels the Lord allows. He began rapping mainly to hang out in the car of his cousin Eugene Baby Vasquez. Another big influence on Lillard's rapping was his cousin Brookfield Deuce, who had some success in Oakland rap scene. That's actually factual. My cousin Baby actually passed in 2002 and I spent a lot of time with him, but I, I started like rapping around that time because he was like a big time rapper. It's going really well now. I think this is probably as good as it's been as far as my music, just because I think we finally settled into a lane. You know, I put music out consistently. Uh, we find ways to to get my music placed and with a lot of my partners and just a lot of opportunities have come up because of that, you know, that dual type spirit, you know, just being an artist and being an athlete and also both things being quality. All right, that's it. I'm signing off the internet.